it's uh, specific calls. Two metal names actually coming in. Uh, so we'll see the dollar is weaker, sharply down about 1%. Uh, and that's, uh, that's good news for, you know, a lot of these uh, commodity companies. Uh, the other one, of course, uh, in terms of straight takeaways is the f sharp fall in yields overnight and the, uh, you know, consequent impact in the NASDAQ and the rub off we could see in IT services here. Uh, so two globally exposed sectors, metals and IT perhaps, uh, in uh, <coughs> focus today as we start another session. Uh, the other thing, of course, is going to be reliance and what happens here. Reliance has given help and given support uh, for the last couple of days. It comes back into rotation and uh, pushes things up. And yesterday was no different. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's also uh, our momentumizer stock uh, today. Sonal is here uh, with uh, more on this one. Sonal, hi. Hi, Prashant. Well, yes, Reliance Industries has been a support to the Nifty. It's up 7% last month, and that's a big stock that has moved that way. Stock is just off 4.3% from its 52-week high level. And at these levels, it's comfortably above that 50, 20, uh, 20 50, 100, and 200-day moving average. Additionally, fundamentally, uh, a lot of positives uh, are taking place in the industry as well. Uh, there's an interesting note from Jefferies where they say that global diesel inventories across Europe, Singapore, and the U.S., they continue at multi-year lows and export duties in the country on refined products was announced back in July when uh, benchmark refining margins were trending at $25 per barrel. That was uh, at a new high. Now, from those levels, refining margins, they have fallen 60%. And this paves way of a reversal in export duties, especially on diesel. Uh, export duties on diesel and ATF have been reduced only by 20% versus a 60% decline that we have seen in refining margins from the top. Realized diesel spreads on export barrels have also come down from around $25 per barrel to around 17 to 18 dollars per barrel so oil prices coming off further from higher levels of 115 dollars per barrel to say 83 dollars per barrel currently is a big positive because jeffries now sees the possibility that export duties could now be cut or reversed and could be withdrawn in the near future as well so if there's a two dollar per barrel impact jeffrey says it will uh, improve their refining margins overall so they say that removal of the same that is the export duties for reliance industries would increase their EBITDA by $1 billion in FY24 and also remove any potential regulatory overhead.